Hello, welcome to PhotoX again. Uh, this is another Lightroom video. Um, this one, I'm going to spend a little bit more time uh, on this one. Um, the last video I did in Lightroom is just a very quick overview for people that have never used it before, just to see what it could do quickly. And um, this one, I'm going to spend a bit more time trying to get this pretty dull looking picture a little bit better. Um, I took this uh, several weeks ago. I can't remember when. It's just when we're out for a walk somewhere. Um, it's nothing special. Um, again, being in England, the sky was pretty rubbish, kind of washed out, grey, blue. Um, uh, this was taken with the uh, Nikon 24-70 at f8, uh, 1 200th of a second. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to do with this image is I can already see that the corners have been netted quite badly. Um, we've also got some weird bit of flare by the looks of it down here. So the first thing I'm going to do with this image is go straight to enable uh, profile corrections and already you can see that's taken care of most of this vignette. So get rid of that. And just to make sure, just going to boost this a bit. Yeah, as you can see that's got rid of most of it. It's also got rid of some of this uh, flare that was down here. So we'll sort that out in a minute. The next thing that's immediately obvious to me is we've got some uh, dust spots up here. I'm going to zoom in, select my spot removal tool, I want the heel brush, and just click on that there. And then I'll just quickly go through the rest of the image at full magnification, make sure there's no other bits of dust that need getting rid of. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's that's good. Alright, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort out this sky. So I'm gonna come to my graduated filter, make sure the exposure um, option is selected. And I'm just gonna drag down, try and keep it straight. Not always easy with a mouse. I'm gonna bring it down to about halfway to start with. And then I'm gonna drag this top bit down so this middle line is roughly in line with the uh, edge line there. This mouse is really not very good for this sort of thing. I'll do it roughly that. I'm just going to play with this exposure uh, slider just to see what I can get. That's too dark. That's probably as good as it's going to get. I don't want it too dark. Yeah, that'll do. Let's just have a little play around with these as well to see. Adding contrast does. It's pretty good there, I think. So I'll click done. So we've now got our graduated filter on. Come to the uh, history. And you can see before and after. Okay, so now what I'm going to do. I'm going to come down to these sliders here, add a little bit of recovery to that sky. Obviously it's a lot whiter over here than it is over this side. And I'll add a little bit of clarity. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the saturation setting. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue. Just to get some more blue in that sky. One uh, really good tip with uh, Lightroom is if you click on this little icon here, you can go to any point in the image and raise and lower the saturation of that colour just by dragging the mouse up and down. 
look over and to the right, you'll see the blue slider going up, down as I drag up and down. So I'll just get that somewhere up there. This works with any colour, I can come down to this green down here. And you'll see the green and yellow sliders going up and down. It's a really good way of uh, selecting a range of colours and boosting the saturation on them. Okay, now I've done that. I'm fairly happy with that. Um, this image, because the background was uh, so light, you notice this foreground uh, branch is quite dark, it's a bit muddy looking. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the adjustment brush tool. And I'm going to go to dodge, lighten, and then what I'm going to do is just lighten this area up. Go back to that. Nice doing that. I'm just going to paint over this branch. Now, when doing things like this, it's best to come down here, check, uh, click, sorry, the show select mask overlay. And this red area will show you where you're painting. I want to be careful not to go over the edge too much. I'm going to try and just stick on the wood. I'll just change the size of the cursor. Doesn't matter if you go over a bit, we can always raise it in a minute, it doesn't have to be perfect. Come down here as well, do this bit. Once you're happy with what you've got, I'm just going to do this roughly. If I was doing this properly, I'd do it a lot tidier just to show you. Just deselect that and then you can play with the exposure and you can brighten up this branch. Obviously, you can take it to extremes. I'm just going to add a bit here. As you can see, where I've overpainted, the sky has uh, also come up, makes this weird halo, so we need to sort that out. So, once I'm happy with the exposure on the tree, I'm going to click here on the arrays, and then I'm going to zoom in. Pressing the Z key, I'm going to erase these bits of the mask where I've gone over. I think I didn't do too badly, I think it's any of those little bits there. Let's just check the rest. Yep, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so we've um, raised the exposure slightly on the branch. I'm also going to raise the clarity on the branch and I'll raise the sharpness a little bit on the branch. Um, when you use these settings, they only affect the sharpness or the clarity on what you painted. So only the bits in red are going to be affected by those settings changes. Okay, so that's not looking too bad now, it's better than it was. We um, click this button here, it turns off. I did. As you can see, it's quite dark and muddy, and there it's brightened it out quite a bit. I might have taken it a little bit too far actually, but I'll leave it at that just to show you. It shows uh, what you can do with it. So once you finish with that adjustment brush, just click on the brush icon again, and that will close it. Now I'm going to come down here, and add some sharpening. This uh, branch is the main focal point of the image. So let's just uh, Find the section of that to make sure the sharp is good. As I explained in the last video, we've got this masking tool here. If you press the Alt key, it will show you which bits of the image are going to be sharpened. I don't want the sky sharpened, I only want the leading edges of the grass and the branch sharpened. So about there should be good. Again, noise reduction, shot this at ISO 200, so I don't really need it. But because I've done
done some editing, I've lowered the exposure here and I've raised the exposure here. I might have brought a little bit of noise in. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of noise reduction on just to uh, hopefully smooth out any noise that did come through. And the only other thing that's annoying me with this image at the moment is this tree line back here where I added the graduated filter. This tree line's gone quite dark. Now what I could do is use another adjustment brush with the lighten tool and paint all along this tree line, which I'll just do to show you. I'll just raise the exposure slightly. it out a little bit. Great thing with Lightroom is you can just play with these sliders and just see what it does, see what happens. Put them back and forward just to see what you get. Again I'm going to come down to my mask overlay. See which bits missed. Uh, this is going to be hard work to do. Trying to paint all these trees is not really going to work very well because it will just um, mess up the graduated filter I did. So you want to be careful doing those bits. I don't think it matters if some of this bit is in the silhouette because the sun is up here anyway behind these trees so it will be in shadow slightly. I just want to bring them out a bit just so they weren't so dark. I'll do I think. Again we'll just click this button and see what they were. Yeah that's better. It's not perfect but better than it was. So we'll click done. Yeah I think I've probably done pretty much everything I can do. I'll just kind of play around with some of these, see what happens. Maybe a bit more recovery actually would not be too bad there. Maybe a bit of vibrance. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Like I said, with Lightroom, it's so easy to use. You just play around with these sliders, keep changing things. Um, you can't ruin your image. You can always go back. You can always try different things, see what works, see what doesn't. It's all about trial and error, really. Once you've been using it for a while, you'll uh, come to know what settings do what. And usually you'll see an image and you'll know straight away what you want it to look like. And you can just add whatever settings you want. You might just try a bit of contrast on this actually, just to uh, see what happens. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It wasn't a great image to start with anyway, so I've kind of salvaged what I could out of it. And um, if we come down here. That's what the image looked like when I took it, that's straight out of the camera. And that's what it looks like now. As you can see it's quite different. Not necessarily any good, but it's uh, certainly better than it was at the camera. Okay, that'll do for this video. Um, I'm going to do some more videos and uh, I'm going to try and find a portrait video to do for you if I can find a decent portrait picture in my library. I'll show you some of the uh, things you can do with portraits. Um, if you want me to have a go at editing any of your raw files or even your JPEG files, um, just leave a comment and I'll send you an email address to send them to and I'll have a go at editing them. Um, I'll record a video of me doing it as well so you can see what I did. If you've got any other comments or questions, then just leave a comment. Thanks very much.